Hi everyone, today we're going to study the counting principle. Let us study the counting principle or sometimes called multiplication principle. The counting principle states that the total number of outcomes for an event is found by multiplying the number of choices for each stage of the event. Let's have an example. How many three-digit numbers can be formed from the numbers 3, 5, 7, and 9? If, letter A, repetition of digit is allowed. Letter B, repetition of digit is not allowed. Let us solve for problem A. For the permutation, let us write three blanks here to represent the three digit numbers. Each blank here represents the number of choices for each stage. So for the first blank, there will be four choices of the digits. So in here, we can write four. For the second blank, since repetition of digit is allowed, there will be four choices again. For the third blank and repetition is allowed, there will be four choices also. And then, let us multiply these numbers. 4 times 4 times 4. And the answer is 64. There are 64 three-digit numbers. Now, for letter B. This time, repetition of digit is not allowed. So, again, we have three blanks here that represents each stage. And we're going to put the choices for each stage. For the first blank, there will be four choices because there are four digits here. Now, suppose one number is already chosen here. The next blank, there will be three choices only. And now, there are two numbers seated on our blanks so it means to say since there is no repetition allowed the third blank has two choices only so let us now multiply the numbers four times three times two and that is 24 it means there are 24 three digit numbers and repetition is not allowed Example 2. Eight children are to be seated on a bench. How many ways can children be seated if the youngest child is to be seated on the extreme left end? For our solution, let us write here eight blanks representing the arrangements of the children. This blank here is the extreme left. And this is reserved for the youngest child. So we put here 1 because there is only one youngest among the children. The next blank here is the seat next to the youngest. Any of the remaining 7 children can sit here. So there are 7 options for this seat. We write here number 7. On the next blank here, we can see that there are two children already seated, the youngest and any one of the seven children. For the next blank, any of the remaining six children can sit here. On the next blank, any of the remaining five children can sit here. So we can see that there are one, two, three, four, four children are already seated. 
on the next seat, any of the remaining four children can sit here. The next seat can be occupied by any of the remaining three children. The next seat can be occupied by any of the remaining two children. And only one children is left that he will sit on the last. So we will multiply all these numbers. The final product is 5040. So we say that there are 5040 ways. This is the final answer.